Ayo, what is up everyone? It is the Alpha J of the Alpha J Show and let's talk total drama. Going on its sixth season, with its last season composed of two different shows, total drama is still raging on with a strong fan base. Strong enough to warrant the sixth season that is. What had a part of our community in a storm was the fact that total drama may be doing the reverse all grown up. Yes my friends, total drama in its sixth season, which was also stated to be a prequel for some reason is now being called Total Drama Daycare. We don't know too much about the show yet, which is why I wanted to hold up from calling this a everything you need to know about Total Drama Daycare. However, I did have a few points that I wanted to share, so let's get through what we do know. From all the sources linked down below, they keep repeating that this will be a 52x 11 minute season, which basically means that it's going to be an 11 minute episode, but they're going to be 52 episodes within the season, which if that's true, that would be the longest season that we have so far. The show is most likely coming out towards the last quarter of 2018. The original had 26 episodes and one special. The second season had 26 episodes, the third season also had 26, the fourth had 13, and season 5 was split into two seasons, consisting of 13 episodes each, totaling up to 26, and there was also a spin-off series that had, you guessed it, 26 episodes. Now simple math will tell you that 26 times 2 is 52. I think that's a bit bold considering that in their last season, their US viewers barely scraped over a million, and it did not improve. Unlike shows like Rick and Morty and Bob's Burgers, the show doesn't seem to trend upward. Quite the opposite. The obvious Teen Titans Go, not even counting their pilot, which received 2.1 million viewers on their first viewing, or the two-parter that received 2.13, or the crossover with the Pop of Girls reboot, which received 2.42 million, their lowest viewed episode around that time, 2015, which was when the Redunklish race came out, the sort of infamous cape that is, which got 1.12 million viewers on first airing, which is still higher or equal to about 9 episodes of the latest season of Total Drama to air. In fact, their highest pilot only got 1.6 million viewers, and in the second part of their pilot, they dropped 200,000 people. So my point is that more people watch Teen Titans Go than Total Drama, however many people would counter that by saying that Teen Titans Go airs all the time, so it's probably probably best not to compare that show with Total Drama. Fair enough, how about regular show? With the numbers that I'm putting on the screen, you can see and compare if you'd like, they appear to be around the same. Steven Universe crushed Total Drama in terms of numbers all around. In fact, around this time Steven Universe was doing really great. Can't say the same about their latest season though. Uncle Grandpa? Although their numbers were all over the place and very inconsistent, I would say that Uncle Grandpa did just as good. How about Clarence? What about Gumball? What happened to it? Adventure Time. They did not air any episodes within the two month period of the spinoff. Yes, two months. They released 26 episodes within two months. All of this is to say that Total Drama at this time was going just okay. It did better than a couple of shows, and some shows weren't necessarily on, so one could say that Total Drama was more like a placeholder at the time, but they didn't do too bad when you don't compare the show to the Giants. However, like I said before, note that Total Drama and when I say Total Drama, I mean the Redonkulous Race, the latest spinoff of Total Drama, at least at the time of recording this, was airing new episodes multiple times a week. So their viewership might have been that way because viewers were constantly being reminded and rewarded with new episodes multiple times a week. I believe I would watch more, given I wouldn't burn out, and a show like Total Drama with its elimination format seems unlikely to burn me out. I originally went into research thinking that Total Drama was this wash up show that no one really watches and that Cartoon Network slash Teletoon is trying to cash in on what worked years ago. But turns out, and stand back for this one because it may provoke a little bit of backlash, Total Drama is the Ben 10 of Teletoon. I remember when I did my research on Ben 10, I learned that Ben 10 made Cartoon Network millions and the franchise runs deeper than pretty much any other show airing at the point of its latest reboot. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Ben 10 became what Scooby 
Scooby-Doo, the Looney Tunes, and Tom and Jerry is in terms of its number of spinoffs and specials. Not in terms of legacy, because come on. But I do respect that Total Drama, after a decade, still has a pretty dedicated fan base. Now let's read the synopsis for this new show. As it's quoted here, Total Drama Daycare reintroduces favorite cast members like the lovable Owen and uptight Courtney, but ages them down from teenagers to toddlers. While the cast may be pint-sized, their teen personalities are fully formed with the voices we know and love, and each episode is packed with dream sequences, cutaways, visual jokes, confessionals, and flashbacks. So whether it's using an Uber, did I really say Uber? Uber to have a Ferris Bueller style day off or scaring away a new teacher, our cast is ready to scale the walls, hack the school computer, and do whatever it takes because make no mistake, these toddlers are here to play. Did they really put that in caps? Firstly, now they're in daycare. Are they still going to do the elimination format? Are they, are they gonna eliminate babies? Toddlers? Are they gonna send toddlers on a boat back to where they came from? Also with the romance of the franchise because Total Drama had its backbone in this core audience that loved to identify with the characters and basically bring the characters to life. Are they going to nix a lot of the drama or make it less PG-13 because I don't think we want to see babies the way that we saw in the original Total Drama. And lastly, according to this photo here, Chef doesn't really seem to look like he aged back at all. I hope they have something really interesting in mind because like I said before, they have 52 episodes. What would I do personally if I had control of the show? Well, with that many episodes, I would probably start off fresh considering that this is the prequel and build on why certain characters become who they are after considering this comes before Total Drama, I believe. Why is Duncan so angry and against everything? Why did Justin become so vapid and in love with himself? Why does each character become who they are today? This would be interesting because it can lead back into other seasons and give extra context and deeper meaning, increasing the replay value. Now, why do many people seem to be apprehensive towards the show? Now, from what I've surveyed and observed, it seems to be under three main umbrellas. The first umbrella is that this is another Cartoon Network reboot, even though it isn't traditionally a reboot, but since it may or may not be taking its original history, and when you look at the definition of a prequel, it doesn't really fit, but I get what people mean by that. It's another Cartoon Network repackaging of an established show, and people are very hostile towards that. You have the obvious three reboots that don't really seem to do very well on the internet, but since this is Teletoons, we shouldn't have that mindset. You have another show that was repackaged for today, and that went well. That was Samurai Jack. So me personally, I can't support that claim. I think what's good should be put first, instead of worrying if it's going to be a reboot or not. The second umbrella is that this is more Total Drama. Now this point I do stand by and can see. With the sixth season of Total Drama, that same slot could be used to show more original content. However, from a network's perspective, they see that Total Drama still works, and maybe this can change and bridge new viewers into a revival of the entire franchise, at least from their perspective. Now they had about six chances, but let's sweep that under the rug. I've also seen a lot of people say it won't be the same, and would you really want the same? As there are a lot of seasons beyond the first one in which they have the original cast, and I don't think a lot of people really like them. Maybe they aren't interested, maybe it's the writing, but I don't think it being original should be something that people should take into consideration. Since they are basing it in a daycare, I feel like with such a bold move, we should still have an open mind until we see something like a trailer, for instance, or a sneak peek into the first episode. The third umbrella is pretty much that, the whole daycare aspect. And like I said, I get that. You have a show that was filled with a lot of flirty humor and a large appeal to teenagers, and you're basically flipping that into toddlers? Well, again, this wouldn't really prove if it's good or not. It just proves that it's radically different. And since Total Drama aired back in 2007, that's been a decade of Total Drama. And the people who first watched may have grown up and possibly moved on to live action versions of what Total Drama models itself after. And the crew maybe wants to appeal to this newer generation growing up, but it wants to use the original characters to bridge both generations into watching. But that's just speculation. There was also a video explaining pretty much what I just said, just a lot more concise, but... 
in Spanish, in Spanish and in Portuguese, full episodes of season one are coming out on the official Total Drama YouTube channel. Want to try that again? Yep. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk too much about that. Animation Magazine also had this to say. It's a quote from the co-creator. We haven't laughed this hard in years. We're channeling all of that teen angst and attitude through four-year-olds, and the results are endlessly funny. Now, obviously, since this is from the co-creator, we shouldn't put too much weight on that. Obviously, the co-creator is going to say positive things about their show. Maybe to the co-creator it is funny, and maybe to us it could be funny. But the specific thing that interests me with the quote was that he said teen angst, which means that they are going to be using a lot of what made total drama. But how they fit that into the whole toddler format? Well, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. So to recap, the last season, even though it wasn't a season, it was more of a spinoff, did pretty okay. There is still a passionate audience that still follows the show, even after a decade. There is also the Cartoon Network reboot Hostility, which although may be warranted in some aspects, ultimately shouldn't be justified because this is Teletoon. And the show is coming out around the last quarter of 2018. It's based off of the original crew most likely, according to this still image, so we don't really know. And the co-creators specifically focus on teen angst when giving a quote to Animation Magazine. And lastly, this has the most episodes of anything Total Drama, so should you look forward to it? Honestly, if you were a fan, yes, but if you dropped off from the show at any point, you should wait for more information like a trailer or a sneak peek to come out before making a choice. Which is basically a kind way of saying, don't hate the show, but don't blindly follow and support the show. Kind of stay in the middle lane. I'm pretty sure in the future I will do a formal everything you need to know when more information drops, but until then... Eh? I was thinking about in the meantime doing sort of a review of the entire Total Drama Island show, the first season. I'm not sure if I want to do a weekly episodic review over the course of about 26 weeks, which would be half of the year funny enough, or do one big hour, or maybe two hours, of a giant season review of the first season. If I see enough interest in this video, then I will consider it because I do want to give story-based or heavy continuity shows like Total Drama the immersion they deserve when reviewing them. And although the latter seems easier and less stressful, it could be something that people, or maybe myself, could get burned out from, considering that I would have to do that over the course of 26 weeks. Whereas with a long video, it could be something that people could be interested in, but they could forget and it could get lost in my video library. Both sides have their pros and cons, and I generally read the comment section, read what you guys have to say, before making larger decisions like that because ultimately, I am making my content for you guys. So if you guys want it, then you can sure bet that I'll get around to it sometime. But until then, let me know what you think in the comments down below, follow me at the Alpha J Show, and send some requests in the request video. If you really like this video, I highly suggest watching my Snot Rocket review for more speculative content like this. Make sure to subscribe, and feel free to consider my Patreon, as always. I hope your time is well spent, and Alpha. Out.